and it is Sunday. How do I get ready for the entire week? Well, I'm finally gonna show you. Enough of the just recipes and meals or a workout, all that's great, but we need to put it all together, right? Okay, so come with me. I'm gonna show you from proteins to carbohydrates to fats, everything that I'm gonna prep today. So what I've already done is my protein sources for this week is going to be chicken, turkey bacon, and turkey meat. So while I'm kind of prepping everything else, I'm just gonna let these unthaw. And then the first thing that I'm gonna start creating is the potatoes that I'm gonna be using for the week. So I preheated the oven to 400 degrees. This is really simple. It's just gonna be cooking spray, tin foil, things everyone probably has at home, baking sheet, potatoes, and um, to get started on this recipe, I'm just gonna do a sheet of vanilla foil. Even though we're doing the foil, the potatoes will still stick, and so I do a light coat of cooking spray. Set that aside. Then on the potatoes, I like to slice them first and then wash them off. So with that, one of the little choppers I think you guys should invest in is just the Miracle Blade. It's a little bit more expensive and you're probably going to have to order it online, but I have one. And I've had this puppy for probably six years. It's sharp. I never have to resharpen it. I never cut myself. It cuts nice, clean, straight cuts with any and everything. And I particularly like that with the potatoes because then they bake evenly. But then later when I'm putting them in my breakfast each morning, they cook evenly as well. So this is pretty simple. Um, just gonna slice the ends off and then just do some even slices. What I'll do is once I've got all the potatoes sliced up, then I'm just gonna put them back in the strainer, wash them, put them in the oven at, again, 400 degrees at about 25 minutes. And then for seasoning, I keep with my go-tos. I mean, you can't go wrong with this organic bag sprinkled 24 herbs and seasoning. It's just really, really good. And then in terms of salt, I particularly like the coarse pink salt that you grind and I go heavy with it just because I like salt and I like the taste. So that's it for the potatoes. So we'll be back with the others, um, with the protein that I'm gonna cook today, for example. Now that the potatoes are in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and prep the chicken to cook for when they're out. Right now they're at 400 degrees. I like to cook the chicken at a little lower temperature at 350 for a little longer too. So 350 degrees on the chicken for about 45 minutes. And this is what we do. I don't have much Pampered Chef, but of the couple things I do have, like this one, this Pampered Chef baking dish, I've had this for about five years now. I pretty much bake chicken in this every single time. Can't go wrong. What I've already done is I've rinsed off the chicken and I've cleaned it up, so I'm just gonna put it in the baking dish. Then for moisture, I'm just doing about a fourth a cup of water. I love purple onions. You don't have to do any fancy dicing. I'm just doing large chunks. Then the seasoning for this one, I got it at Penzi's Spices. I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but this is the Northwoods seasoning. It goes great on chicken. And I'm gonna do a pretty healthy dose of this. Just sprinkle all over. I'll show it to you. Here's what it looks like. Then I'm gonna put the lid on it, put it in the refrigerator, so that once the potatoes are done, I can lower the temperature on the oven and then put this in for 45 minutes and then prep something else. Now that the turkey is unthawed, we're just gonna do this in a pan and brown it. Once that gets brown, then I'm gonna use my two favorite taco seasoning mixes from Simply Organic. They actually have two of them that are really good. One is Southwest Taco, which I'm gonna use today. And the other one, if you like your food a little spicier, is the spicy. I would say this is equivalent to probably medium in terms of heat. And then, the turkey bacon is unthawed, so I've just placed tin foil over a baking sheet and laid out the turkey strips, which I'm gonna be placing in the refrigerator so that when my potatoes are done, remember, they're about done, they've got about 10 more minutes left, I can pop these in the oven and then finish browning the turkey, do the seasoning on it, and then that's gonna be the protein portion of the week. So what I'll do is everything will be in plastic containers in the refrigerator so that every day before I head out for my route, I'll just put everything in other containers according to whatever macros I'm gonna be choosing for the week. All right, so our roasted potatoes are now finished. 
It's as simple as set them out to cool and then I have a bunch of six pack Tupperware. You don't have to use this Tupperware. Anything will work. You could even put them in a Ziploc if you'd like. So once these have cooled, I'll just put them in the Tupperware, back in the fridge. That way all week long, I'm not cooking potatoes every day. I just grab them from the container, cook it. Or if I want to have breakfast for lunch while I'm out on the road, I can put these in the container, measure it, and we're ready. And it's a wrap. So I'm just going to take you through the finishing touches here. You can see that we've got the potatoes finished. We've got the turkey bacon chicken, turkey. One thing I didn't show you was prepped veggies. This is gonna be mainly for omelets and if I wanna do a salad later this week. My packaged foods include almonds, salsa, Ezekiel bread, this is another brand that I really enjoy. Eggs, I'm gonna use those both for fat because I will do probably one yolk every day plus the whites. And then one of my favorites, Nutty Blends nut butter. Gotta have that. And then I love having Greek yogurt. I like the Simply Balanced brand. You can get this at Target. My favorite is strawberry and black cherry. And I just love berries. I will add a serving of this, which is 140 grams and only 40 calories. It's one of the reasons why I love strawberries. They're nutrient packed and not a lot of calories. I'll just add those to the yogurt. So what I do every morning is my Nifty Quest Nutrition six pack bag. All I do, is it conveniently fits great Tupperware um, is I just make my meals every morning and then when I go out on my route I just grab bulk food that I've already prepared and then everything's in my bag and ready for the day so there's no excuses I've done all my cleaning um, the day is still young I've got plenty of time to go hit a leg workout and enjoy the beautiful weather in Southern California hope all of this has helped uh, let me know what other type of videos you'd like to see and I'd be happy to post thanks and have a great weekend